Hey there, welcome back to my news. What's up? Today I'm super excited to show you guys how I build this tool board. All right, enjoy. All right, time to break down this three quarter inch plywood. You will need two sheets of three quarter inch plywood and one full sheet of half inch plywood for this project. This is going to be the top and the bottom. The top and the bottom panels are 76 inches by 10 inches. You will need to cut two of these panels from 4x8 plywood. I drill about 6 pocket holes on this panel on each side. Now it's time to cut the side panels. The side panels are wider than top and the bottom panels. It's because it's going to receive a backboard that is half inch thick and 3 quarter inch plywood as a French cleat to hang on the wall. You will need to cut two of these. The side panel receives half inch dado. If you don't have a router table, you can do this job with a hand router or on the table saw. It's time to make the box now. I connect all side with pocket hole screws and some glue. Hey guys, if you like what you're seeing, please help me out by subscribing to my channel and smashing that like button. I appreciate you. Now I'm cutting the vertical divider. The vertical divider is 45 and 1 8 inches by 10 inches. This divider didn't get a pocket holes. It was secure from outside with 1 and half inch screws. After I cut it to the right length on my miner saw, I brought it over to my table saw and cleaned up the side. The middle horizontal divider is 52 inches by 10 inches. You will need only one of these. After that I secure the middle divider with pocket hole screws and some glue. I am going to have a free build plans on my description box below. If you guys have any questions about this build, leave me a comment. I will reply to every one of you. I secure the middle divider with one and a half inch screws. Once you have everything cut, putting it together is a pretty fast process. The main frame or a box is complete. After that I start making a drill holder. Since I have only three drill guns, this spot is custom made for my own need. This drill holder is very simple. It was made from three quarter inch scrap wood. It's like a T but upside down. The vertical runs 3 inches and horizontal part is 2.5 inches, which is placed right in the middle. After that I start cutting the middle shelves on my miner saw. You will need to cut 6 of these. After I finish cutting the middle shelves, I start connecting the drill holders. First I secure it with the brad nails and I came back and put two screws on each side. This is a half inch plywood and this is going to be for the back. After I finish cutting the backboard, I temporarily install it on the box. On the very top shelves, I'm going to make a holder for my circular saw. The top and the bottom were cut at 45 degree angle.
I drill one and a half inch holes and use my jack saw to cut the middle part. After that I took it over to my router table and round over the edge. The left side is custom made for my jack saw and the sanders. Since these tools are bigger than my drill guns, I was only able to fit two of these on these holders. The vertical runs down two inches and the horizontal part is three inches, which is placed right in the middle. The other shelves are also custom made for my nail guns. I was tired of losing them so I decided to install a quick connect so I can hang them there. I was super excited how this was turning out. After that I installed a lower divider. On this spot I'm going to store all my screws and nails. At the last minute, I decided to add a crown molding. In order to do that, I had to add 3 quarter inch plywood on top so I can nail the crown molding. If you don't feel comfortable installing a crown molding, you can bypass this step. It looks great without it too. Since the front crown molding is too long, it was difficult for me to get the right angle. So I cut it in the middle and installed it that way. This was a lot easier. I fill up the gap with the wood filler. After all that was done, it's time for painting. I primed it first and lightly sanded. I bought this cheap spray gun from Amazon and it worked okay. I used the cherry gel stain on the backboard because I wanted to match with my workbench. After that, I pretty much did the same thing that I always do. This is the main power extension. First it connects to my wireless iPhone charger and the speaker. The extension runs down and connects to my dual and work charger. My girlfriend helped me hang it on the wall since it was getting pretty heavy for one person. After that, I secure the board on the wall with 3 inch screws. And I also added these 4 feet long sub lights. If somehow this video helped you or you enjoy watching it, please give me a like and subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.